Six months ago, the world was left stunned by the unveiling of SpaceX's latest engineering masterpiece, the Raptor 3 engine. That reaction was completely justified. This new iteration of the Raptor engine has pushed the boundaries of innovation, achieving extraordinary capabilities that were once thought impossible. With groundbreaking advancements in power, efficiency, and reliability, Raptor 3 is not just an improvement, it's a leap ahead of its time. But how did the Raptor engine evolve to match this level of sophistication? To truly appreciate its cutting-edge design, we need to take a step back and explore the fascinating journey that brought it here. The evolution of the Raptor engine is a story of relentless innovation, engineering brilliance, and a vision to revolutionize space travel. So let's dive into that journey on today's episode of Great SpaceX. The origins of the Raptor engine can be traced back to SpaceX's earliest ambitions of reaching Mars. Long before the first prototypes were built, Musk had envisioned a highly efficient, reusable, and powerful propulsion system capable of supporting interplanetary travel. The idea was not just to build an engine that could rival contemporary designs, but to create one that would pass them in efficiency, thrust, and reusability. The path to achieving this goal, however, was far from straightforward. One of the most significant early decisions in the development of Raptor was the choice of fuel. Unlike the Merlin engines that power the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, which run on RP-1, a refined form of kerosene and liquid oxygen, Raptor was designed to use methane as its primary fuel. The choice was not arbitrary. Methane offers numerous advantages, particularly for deep space missions. It burns cleaner than kerosene, reducing carbon buildup within the engine and making it easier to reuse without extensive refurbishment. More importantly, methane can be produced on Mars using the Sabatier process, which combines carbon dioxide from the Martian atmosphere with hydrogen to produce methane and water. This meant that future missions to Mars could, in theory, refuel their spacecraft on the surface rather than carrying all the required propellants from Earth. The development of the first Raptor prototypes was a challenging process. Unlike the Merlin engine, which had gone through incremental improvements over the years, Raptor represented an entirely new design philosophy. One of its defining features is a full-flow staged combustion cycle. In simpler terms, this means that both the oxidizer and fuel are pre-burned before reaching the main combustion chamber, resulting in a more efficient and powerful burn. While this cycle offers significant performance benefits, it is also incredibly complex and difficult to perfect. Before SpaceX, only a few full-flow staged combustion cycle engines had ever been tested, and none had been successfully deployed in an operational rocket. The early versions of Raptor underwent extensive ground testing at SpaceX's facilities in McGregor, Texas. Engineers encountered several setbacks as expected with any revolutionary technology. Combustion instability, overheating, and materials degradation were some of the primary challenges. SpaceX, known for its rapid iteration approach, tackled these issues by continuously improving the engine design and incorporating lessons learned from each test. In 2019, the first-generation Raptor engine was finally tested in a real flight scenario. The prototype, the prototype Star Hopper vehicle, an early predecessor to Starship, was launched using a single Raptor engine. The test was a resounding success, demonstrating the engine's ability to lift a spacecraft off the ground and land it safely. This marked a major milestone in Raptor's development and set the stage for more ambitious tests in the years to come. As SpaceX continued to develop Starship, the Raptor engine saw continuous refinements. Raptor 2, the next major iteration, featured several improvements over its predecessor. It was more powerful, easier to manufacture, and more reliable. One of the most significant advancements, enhancements was its increased thrust output. While the first-generation Raptor produced around 185 tons of thrust, Raptor 2 was capable of exceeding 230. This increase was crucial as Starship's ambitious design required a powerful propulsion system to support both Earth-based and deep space missions. Another critical improvement in Raptor 2 was its manufacturing process. SpaceX heavily optimized production techniques, making it possible to build engines faster and at a lower cost. 
Traditional rocket engines often take months or even years to manufacture due to their complexity. SpaceX, however, aimed to produce Raptor engines at an unprecedented rate. By leveraging advanced 3D printing techniques and automation, they were able to accelerate production timelines significantly. With the continued progress of Starship, it became clear that even Raptor 2 would eventually need to be surpassed. Enter Raptor 3, the latest and most advanced iteration of the engine. Unlike its predecessors, Raptor 3 pushed the limits of efficiency and power even further. Reports indicate that this engine is capable of producing over 250 tons of thrust, a staggering number that puts it among the most powerful rocket engines ever built. Beyond its raw power, Raptor 3 also features enhanced durability and reusability. One of the key goals for SpaceX has always been to minimize refurbishment time between flights. Traditional rocket engines require extensive maintenance after each launch, which dries up costs and slows down turnaround times. SpaceX aimed to change that with Raptor 3 by making it robust enough to withstand multiple flights with minimal surfacing. This capability is essential for Starship's future, as the vehicle is designed to launch, land, and relaunch within a short time frame. Another major achievement with Raptor 3 is its improved efficiency. The specific impulse, which measures how efficiently a rocket engine converts fuel into thrust, has been optimized to provide the best possible performance. This means that Starship can carry more payload, travel longer distances, and operate with greater flexibility. The significance of this cannot be overstated as it directly impacts the feasibility of missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The impact of Raptor 3 extends far beyond SpaceX itself. The rapid advancements in rocket engine technology have forced other aerospace companies to rethink their approaches. Competitors like Blue Origin, Rocket Lab, and even government agencies such as NASA and Roscosmos are now facing the challenges of keeping up with SpaceX's pace of innovation. The traditional aerospace industry, which has long been characterized by slow and costly development cycles, is being disrupted by SpaceX's ability to iterate quickly and push the boundaries of what is possible. Looking ahead, Raptor 3 will play a critical role in SpaceX's long-term vision. Starship, powered by these engines, is expected to become the backbone of future space exploration efforts. Whether it's launching satellites, ferrying astronauts to the moon under NASA's Artemis program, or eventually carrying humans to Mars, the success of these missions will largely depend on the reliability and performance of the Raptor engine. Despite all of these advancements, SpaceX is likely to stop here. If history has shown anything, it is that the company is always looking for ways to improve. Future iterations of Raptor could bring even greater efficiencies, increased thrust, and further optimizations for deep space travel. The journey of the Raptor engine is far from over. It is an evolving story of engineering brilliance, relentless innovation, and the pursuit of making space more accessible than ever before. In the end, the development of Raptor 3 is not just about creating a better rocket engine. It represents a fundamental shift in how space technology is approached. By embracing rapid iteration, leveraging cutting-edge manufacturing techniques, and setting ambitious goals, SpaceX has demonstrated what is possible when bold vision meets technical expertise. The impact of this innovation will be felt for decades to come, shaping the future of space exploration in ways we are only beginning to understand. To reach the perfect version, SpaceX still faces several significant challenges that need to be addressed. One of the most pressing issues, as mentioned earlier, is engine refurbishment. While welding provides a strong and reliable connection, it creates a major drawback when repairs are necessary. If any part of the engine experiences damage, SpaceX must physically cut into it for repairs, making maintenance a time-consuming and complex process. This is a disadvantage compared to traditional assembly methods that use screws and bolts, which allow for easy disassembly and replacement of components. Finding an innovative solution to this problem would enhance Raptor's longevity and maintainability, ensuring that it remains a cost-effective and reusable propulsion system. Another critical issue, which is a common challenge in the aerospace industry, is leakage. 
Fuel and oxidizer leaks have been a recurring problem in recent test flights, sometimes leading to catastrophic failures. One notable example is the failure of Ship 34 or S-34 during Flight 7, where fuel leakage was identified as a contributing factor. Even with all the advancements SpaceX has made, the simplification of the engine's design and its plumbing still needs further refinement. Given this, it's likely that SpaceX will transition fully to Raptor 3, which is expected to incorporate improvements that address these leakage concerns. If necessary, further upgrades will be made to enhance reliability. Beyond these challenges, the Raptor engine has a crucial role to play in SpaceX's future. One of its immediate tasks is to successfully power Starship to orbit, a milestone that is essential for proving the vehicle's viability. Achieving orbit consistently will allow SpaceX to move ahead of competitors such as Blue Origin and China, both of whom are developing their own heavy lift rockets. Once this milestone is achieved, the focus will shift toward perfecting Starship's landing capabilities. The ultimate test will come when SpaceX implements the Mechazilla Arm landing method, a highly ambitious plan that involves catching the return booster and ship mid-air using giant robotic arms. This method demands extreme precision, and the success of this technique will be pivotal in achieving full reusability. The role of Raptor also extends far beyond launch and landing. It'll play a key part in orbital operations as demonstrated by SpaceX's recent tests involving reignition of the engine in space. The ability to restart an engine in orbit is crucial for a variety of missions, from satellite deployment to deep space exploration. Initially, Starship will carry out test missions involving simulated payloads, but this will eventually lead to actual commercial and scientific missions. Additionally, Raptor will be at the heart of SpaceX's orbital refueling system, which is a critical technology for long-duration space travel. For this system to work, Starship must be capable of highly precise maneuvers to transfer fuel between spacecraft. The journey of the Raptor engine is far from over. Its continuous evolution mirrors the rapid development of SpaceX and the Starship program. Every challenge faced, whether it be refurbishment, leakage, or precision landings, serves as an opportunity for improvement. It's difficult to say which version of the Raptor engine will be considered the ultimate design, but what is certain is that it will continue to get better with each iteration. The story of Raptor is still being written, and as SpaceX pushes the boundaries of space exploration, this journey will remain an ongoing and unlimited quest for innovation. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly and the latest details of SpaceX's progress. Thank you so much for tuning in, and remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will always follow you as long as you keep looking up.